Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Alan Gadgets. Today's tutorial will mainly comprise of three parts. The first part would be to install the Autric 3 onto the Ulanzi Pixel Clock. The second part will be to run uh, Autric Flow, which is mainly the app inside the Autric. And I'll use the YouTube subscriber counter as an example on how to download and run it on the clock. And for that, you also need to run a microservice on your PC to send the information over to the clock. And the last part would be to auto run via a batch file the microservice on the PC so that you don't have to type in uh, to the command com every time you want to run it. After trying and experimenting with the Autric 3 on the clock, I finally gotten around to produce this tutorial. Uh, before moving on, I would like to urge you to click on the like button for the YouTube algorithm and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for upcoming video on camera, drones and gadgets. So without further ado, let's get to it. There's three pieces of software that we need to install. One on the clock itself, which is the Autric 3. And the other two are the Node.js and node RAID, which will be installed on your PC to run as a microservice to send information to the clock. To download and install the Autric 3, you need to head over to the Autric 3 GitHub. Take note that if the installation or download fail, try it with another USB cable or use another port on your PC. any reason or any case that you need to reset it to the factory firmware In this tutorial, I'll only focus on how to run the YouTube subscriber counter flow which should apply to all other flow. The fundamentals and the steps are basically the same. I want to only show the YouTube subscriber counter and nothing else so I would want to turn off and disable all the other functions like the clock and calendar. So these are the steps on how to turn off everything else only running the flow that you install the clock. Now let's head over to the PC to install the Node.js and the Node RAID. Now that everything has been set up properly, let's go over to the YouTube subscriber flow and download it. There are two YouTube subscriber counter flows available, but I'll be using the Tony Chang instead of the Blue Forces flow because 
it uses red note instead of the MQTT. I find that the note read approach is much simpler as compared to the MQTT approach so as to keep this tutorial simple and straightforward. Either decide to use the default icon or you can choose other icon from the library. I would like to do a little modification to the code here as I want to display the number in a format that the YouTube will show on their page with the decimal point with the K for thousand and M for million. For this to happen, I did a few modifications to the code. First of all, the value of the counter number will not be in string but rather in integer to determine whether it's more than thousand or million in this simple if else loop. After reading a value, I'll determine where the decimal will go and what alphabet to be added at the end. And I also changed the icon ID accordingly to the one that I picked from the Lermetric icon gallery. So from here, all you need to do now is to save the flow and to run it from node rate. You can either do it via the interface or you can run it from the command com. You can also choose to put it in the batch file so that you can run the command com with just one click or you can choose to run it automatically during Windows startup. Just make sure that the batch file is pointed correctly to the location where the JSON file is. So that's all you need to know on how to install the Autric tree onto the Ulanzi Pixel Clock, how to reset it to the original firmware if you ever need to, how to run the YouTube subscriber counter flow using the node rate running on your PC, and lastly, how to auto run it using a batch file. I hope you find this tutorial useful and interesting in any way. If that is the case, do click on the like button and share this video. If you enjoy videos on camera, drones, and gadgets, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And remember to click on the bell button and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.